Hey, Liam, this is Shang Tang San Jose Hockey Now. Congratulations. Thank you. Wanted to ask you about your season. Actually, uh, unlike a lot of the uh, prospects that were drafted, you actually got in a lot of games. I think you played over 70 games in three different places. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Well, uh, we had like a really tough season with COVID, but I mean, at least we were one of the teams that were lucky enough to have a season. And um, there was a lot of stuff we had to do to make sure that we could keep our season going, like making sure we weren't going out, doing things we like shouldn't have been doing. Like there's a rule of discipline that we all needed to have in order for our season to, to flow and for us to play games. And I think that uh, made a lot of us develop like a maturity aspect and a mental aspect to our like games and such. And can you describe your game and uh, who you model your game after? Yeah, um, I, I would say I'm a skilled power forward with a, with a lot of power. Uh, I think I have a lot of natural ability, and I think that natural ability comes out on the ice. And um, one player I try to resemble my game after is uh, probably a Tom Wilson. That's probably one, one player, especially being a Cavs fan growing up. Uh, He's been one guy that I've always looked at. Oh, that's going to make you uh, popular around the league. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's a player <laughs> you hate hate to play against, but love to have. <laughs> um, uh, you were uh, born in uh, Germany. Uh, but how long uh, did you grow up there at all, or did you come back to the U.S. pretty quick? Uh, I came back. So my parents were stationed in the military over there, and uh, when I was about eight months, they got stationed at the Pentagon in D.C., so... Uh, I got to move over. I kind of wish I got to uh, go over and visit. I got to see it when I was older. Uh, I went back and visited. And it was a, looked like a beautiful place to grow up to, but uh, I didn't get I didn't get lucky enough to. And um, you know, growing up in uh, Virginia, uh, I saw I see that you're a big uh, Alex Ovechkin fan. Uh, can you just talk about just uh, Alex's impact on just uh, kids in uh, Virginia, the Washington, D.C. area in general, just making hockey popular among the kids uh, out there? Yeah, he's just such an inspiration, inspirational figure. Like, uh, just the passion he has when he plays hockey, you can just see it. And it just makes the game, like, you feel that much more connected to the game when you watch them. And it makes you just want to play. It makes it, like, all you want to do. And that's kind of what it did for me. And that's what it's doing for a lot of guys in the area, like uh, Bryce Montgomery, too, who just got picked to Carolina. A couple of picks after me, which is, uh, yeah. Curtis. San Jose, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Um, how, how did your talks go with the Sharks? Did you, when was the last time you, you spoke with them, and, and what was the interview like? Uh, I think we had a we had a couple calls, but uh, they all went really well. They were, they were one of my more, more confident interviews. I felt really comfortable uh, being in the interviews. So they, they had a really good scouting scouting board, and when I was talking to them, it felt really really natural. It felt like a really good fit. So, did you talk to a lot of teams? Yeah, I talked. I talked to a, a number, but um, I'm grateful for for where I, where I landed. Curious about your about your mom and dad. Are they are they still in the military, or what do they what do they do? Uh, they're both retired, but they still do. Uh, they work as civilians for the military now. Okay, okay. I was curious. Yeah, obviously living in Virginia, I'm sure they were, they were in D.C. quite a bit. Maybe in the Pentagon. Is that? Maybe I don't know if I'm taking a taking a stab in the dark here, but no, yeah, they were at the uh, they were at the Pentagon. They're both uh, retired lieutenant colonels. They both did point, like plus 25, 25 plus years in the in the army. It was so. it a pretty strict strict upbringing? upbringing in the city? Yeah, it, yeah, it was. But they uh, they started to mellow out a little bit because I'm uh, the age difference between me and my siblings. They kind of had some time to develop as parents, and when I came around, they're like they took the job a little less. I don't know, hands-on. Was it watching the, the Capitals that kind of inspired you to, to pick up the game, or how did it how did it all start? Definitely. Um, my brother, he was, a, he was a big piece of what got me into hockey. Like, he would force me to play every sport with him, whether it was knee hockey, him hitting me into the wall over and over when I was 10 years younger than him, or it was fiddlesticks, and he'd rip the crossballs at me. Uh, 
he's one reason like he just got me into hockey. We were just playing in the backyard. It was fun. I I loved it. And um my dad also um was lucky enough to get a season tickets for probably my whole life growing up in DC. And so I've been going to games, watching them, watching the game and just developing my like IQ and I think that uh I think it kind of helps. What's next for you? What, what what are your plans in the fall? In the fall, I'm going to go to London Knights and I'm going to take my career over there for a year or two and see where that goes. I'm excited for you to play for for Dale Hunter. Oh, it's it's going to be an absolute honor. He's he's a legend in DC, so it's just me. It's going to be an offer. It's going to be a great opportunity to be able to be coached by him and learn everything he knows about the game. Cool. Thanks, Liam. Appreciate your time. Thank you.